Good morning, people. Uh, somebody has asked me, how would you go on about putting this stuff in your central heating to give it a flush, chemical flush? Right. Um, I'm not a great fan of this, I don't think it does a lot, but we'll give it a go. We'll show you how to put it in at least. Right, first job, we've got to dra drain some out of the system. So, so the first job is to find a radiator or a point where you can drain off and take some water out of the system. If you haven't got one of those on, you can attach what is a washing machine hose to the valve. As you can see, I've undone it from the rad and I've put a, I put a blanking plug in there that to stop the water coming out of the rad. And this is a washing machine hose, and I've just connected that to a hose pipe. That's going outside now. Okay, so that's a plan B if you haven't got a drain off. So all we need to do now is to take this cap off and undo that fella. So we've lost all the pressure in the boiler now. This is a combi, as you see that needle has lost all the pressure, so that's what we can do at the next stage is to uh, open a rad up upstairs. Right, we're coming to an upstairs rad now, and we're going to take that plug vent out of the rad. To worry. Uh, I've got camera in hand so the next thing is to put it there in my adapter or a adapter okay so this is the adapter that is a Cornex coupling that's um, a speed for telebore a little short bit of pipe and this is a reducer that's a 15 to 22 no, it's not a silent shot. That's a 15 to 28, and then we've got a 28 to 32 reducer. So that acts like a tundish. On that end, we we'll screw in the bit that we've just took out. good and tight as they say in Germany. Now all I've got to do is pour it in there. Now before we pour that in there uh, you need to make sure that you've closed the drain off otherwise it's just going to go straight out. And pour it slowly because the, the arrows fight back so it's, well, it's trying to blow it out. Uh, another tip is if you can do it without taking the air vent out, which would normally be on the other side, take the air vent out of there and that'll stop the air blowing back at you. But it still happens this way, you can do this way, just pour it slowly. Slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Now the theory is 
Oh, uh, this is what it says on the tin. That's that's going to clear a lot of the, the muck that's in the system. Well, it's very hard to prove whether it works or not. So I wouldn't spend a lot of money, you know, with these guys come around and, and they want to charge a fancy price of hundreds and hundreds. You know, this is the way to go. Put it in yourself, see if it works, uh, let it run down in your system for a couple of weeks, give it a couple of weeks to work. Preferably in winter when you when your eating's working most of the time. And then uh, if it works, it works. Well I, I I haven't any confidence in it, but you know that's just my opinion really. So anyway, all there is left to do now is to take this lot out, put that back in, fill the system up. And let it run. Okay, so I hope that's helped you. See you again.